Hi, welcome to another Cracking the Cryptic, and today something a little different. We're going to look at a Guardian crossword from the 13th of September. So, the Guardian's a little different from the Times, which we've been looking at so far, but essentially cryptic clues are still the same, so there shouldn't be any real difference. What we might find in a typical Guardian crossword is um, clues that refer to each other quite a lot, and there might be some slightly looser wordplay. Um, and I'll try and explain what I mean by that as we go along, if it occurs. Um, the puzzle we can see, the one difference immediately, it's set by Boatman, it says here, and that means that um, the compiler is given a name in the Guardian, whereas the Times, although it uses different compilers, is all just a generic Times crossword, you don't get to find out who it's by. But we'll crack straight on with, uh, have a look at Seven of Cots. Channel in Spooner's Broad River. Now, as always, whenever we see Spooner, we're looking to do a Spoonerism. The two-word phrase is Broad River, so it's wide something. So the channel will be a tide way, which will be a Spoonerism for wide tay, Broad River. Um, Straightforward enough, but it, it helps that broad only has one likely synonym, um, and then you can maybe guess from something I'd were. Um, the channel being a tideway, I don't think it's very obscure. One down, little Richard, given the eye, that could be Dick, didn't intend covering kiss, only number ones. So that's saying that only the first letters of didn't intend covering kiss provide the answer. Um, I don't think the Times would use only number ones as, a, as an indication for the first letters. I don't think there's much wrong with it, um, but it may be not how you would ever talk in, in real life describing the first letters of didn't intend covering kiss. Uh, two down. Lexicographer. Sure to get excited by word for new teeth. Lexicographer Johnson Webster would be the famous one. Webster. Can't see a way to work that in. New teeth. Something to do with babies teething. Uh, three down. Incentive for panel game hosts to do send up. No. Let's have a look at nine across. Effect visible in batic tie dyeing process. Well, I'm lucky enough to have been doing crosswords long enough to know that ICAT is some sort of artistic effect in clothes making. So it's hidden in batic a tie dyeing process. Strikes me as a pretty ordinary clue to hide that in, in batic a tie dyeing. And what process is doing in the cryptic reading? I, don't really have any idea, so not that impressive. Four down, scruffy type, reportedly vacant, a ponytail short. Three hyphen five, uh, vacant would be empty. Ill kempt? That would fit and mean scruffy. Type, reportedly, ill k sounds like ilk. And then vacant, a ponytail short. I think that means empty without the letter Y, which is the tail of pony. I mean, I, yeah, okay. I have a lot of issues with that clue, but I think that's probably the answer. Fish head almost blended. Some pieces left on the surface. No, not seeing that. And lots of folk songs used regularly in remixed stereo links. Remixed is certainly an anagram indicator, but I'm not quite sure. Must be of stereo links, but that's too long. I'm not too sure. 13 across. Boatman's grown. Well, let's remember that the compiler is called Boatman, so he's probably referring to himself. Boatman's grown. I'm, yeah, immature. Boatman is saying, I'm mature. Boatman's grown. And that immature means yet to reach full potential. Ish. Okay, fair enough. Now, 14 down. Got a problem there. Tree found where rock is extracted from mountain ashore is what the clue says. Can't quite get that on screen for you. 
this is going to be a problem if I'm going to have to move the clues around. Right, um, tree found where rock, it looks like Rowan. I don't know why. Might be. How about a W third letter? Blue feathers is down. It means both sad, blue, and feathers. Uh, we are going to struggle to get these letters in. That's annoying. Right, I will read. <laughs> Let's have a look at 17 down. Boatman, there he is again. It's a standard times rule not to use the same um, indication for a part of a word play twice in a puzzle. Obviously, Boatman is uh, not obeying that rule, so here he is again. Boatman takes a second in meeting to get the information organised. Boatman... Oh, well, maybe it's a different sort of boatman. Could be a sailor this time. Yeah, so database is the answer, which is the information organized, apparently. And AB is a standard crossword definition for a sailor. So that with a second in date gives you database. 20 across here, regularly amounting to a two digit figure. Often means regularly and of 10, of means amounting to, I suppose, and a two digit figure is 10. Um, let's look at 16 across. An equal to Earl. What, count? Peel the last of the Shire. The Shire is county. <sighs> it's suggesting you peel off the last letter of the Shire, but the, the comma there is not helpful. You have to entirely ignore it for the cryptic part. Again, I don't think you'd get bogus punctuation in the times for the cryptic reading. Tools for measuring moulded replicas, clearly an anagram of replicas, and that's calipers would be tools for measuring. Apology for metal found in food every year. An apology that fits would be mea culpa, I suppose, or an admission anyway. Um, metal would be CU for copper, found in food is meal, and PA is every year. Got 11 down, numbers game played with iPad rules added. iPad and rules look like they're there for an anagram, but I can't see it. Let's have a look at 12 down, and he stood out as a nail head in a brogue. Cracky. No, not really saying that. How about 20 down with an O? 20 down says, wood consumed by one going up in flames. Okay, so that's on fire. Wood is fur, consumed by one. And then on fire sort of means going up in flames. 21 across. Rearrange ops for OAP. That must be an anagram. There's an F in it. Uh, apropos of rearrange ops, can't see a definition at all. A re is the definition, and then you have to arrange ops for. Again, the tie, the guardian is prepared to allow um, words together, as we saw with ponytail, which was tail of pony. And they run it together in one word. There, re is the definition, and the rest of the glue starts after the hyphen. Not sure I consider that fair, I have to say. Fresh milk, etc., not initially at 21 down. That'd be more dairy, it's milk, etc. So, not initially makes it airy, which I think can be defined by fresh, fair enough. 24 across, accounts really starting to rise alarmingly. They need settling first. It looks like arrears, given the R's in the grid. Accounts really starting, is giving AR, to rise alarmingly. It's something to do with rearing horses, rears. Not quite sure where the S, oh, settling first is the S, and the whole thing's an attempted and lit, I think. 19 down. Trap, large bird in flight. Curly? Uh, no. Inert. Trap could be corner. Large bird in flight. That must be a rock going upwards. I don't really 
I think that means in flight, and then inert with its skin removed for the rest. 25 across. Stand for letters gain. If gain can be an anagram indicator, that can be trestle. But 23 down. C22. Oh, yeah, this is something you occasionally get in puzzles like The Guardian, is words run together uh, to form one. And in fact, 22 uh, says sustainable kind of approach to farming. Eight letters. So it's 22 and then 23. So as well as B and the L, we know that the third and fifth letter will be the same. I suppose sustainable, yeah, okay, sustainable is bearable. And if you break that up into two words, it's be arable, which is, I suppose, a kind of approach to farming, although it's a fairly odd phrase for that, but fair enough. Let's have a look up here. Oh, we had a look at that fish clue. I oh, know. Went to a restaurant for tea. That's a clue. What? Well, eight out is what you do when you went to a restaurant. And tea is eight out. This is one of those clues where the answer itself gives you the word play. Um, so you anagram T, put it out, and you get eight. So eight out is therefore T. And he's helpfully put that's a clue in brackets because it's a quite unusual way of doing it. Um, don't know where to go. 12 across and try that. Support for stone channel. Strut. Stone is ST. Rut is a channel. Oh, those teeth are new teeth dentures. Dent, Susie Dent is the lexicographer from Countdown. Ah, and there's Countdown across the middle of the grid. I think we've got something going on there. That's interesting. 15 across. Bucks, consorts. So Bucks would be male deer, their consorts of does, spoiled poodles, make an anagram of poodles with the pieces of lop off, and you get those does. And now it says does count down across the middle, which might be significant. 14 down, I'm sure, is row, and it's a tree found where rock is extracted from a mountain ashore. Don't quite see why. 12 down, the stood out, shone would fit. As a nail head in a brogue, so N in a shoe. Okay, and I've certainly got some sort of countdown theme. 11 down. Oh, that's why it says numbers game, and we had another clue that said letters game. So there's definitely a theme going on. Ah, uh, okay. I don't quite understand the wording here, but my suspicion that we want an anagram of iPad and rules is right. And if you came up with epidurals before I did, well done. Now, they're not numbers in a traditional sense, but they are numbers. They make you numb, and that's a classic bit of crossword misdirection. Um, I don't quite understand. Game played with iPad rules added. I suppose it's just saying, make an anagram of iPad with rules added on. Three down. The incentive must be a carrot, mustn't it? The power game host to do sender. I'm not quite sure why. Reef knots would fit here. Okay, so that's some of the letters of folk songs used regularly. FKN in an anagram of stereo to mean links. And if we've got, yeah, this is going to be cats, isn't it? Musical and then jazz singing star initially, initially held back must be scat with the S delayed. <coughs> And I'll tell you why in a second. Let's hope and try and finish this last one. Fish head almost blended. Some pieces left on the surface. Flotsam, I suppose, would fit. Fish head is um, oh, an anagram of almost. Okay, fair enough. And there we are. We're finished. But let's have a look at this theme. Now... There is a program on TV, quite popular with crossword solvers, I imagine, called Countdown. And there's another program, a spin-off, called... Well, its hashtag is Cats Does Countdown, because it came out of the program 8 out of 10 Cats and the program Countdown. There's of 10. Aha, right. So, 5 down says 8 out, 
Now, if you say that out loud, it sounds like the numeral 8 out, 20 across of 10, 8 out of 10, cats does count down, which is, I, I have to say, it's a very amusing program, big fan of it, but um, a bit vulgar sometimes, but always quite good fun, and they do, for some reason, play the numbers and letters games from Countdown sensibly. Then 11 down mentions the numbers game, 25 across in the clue mentioned the letters game, 2 down features Susie Dent, who's a regular on the show. Ah, yeah, three down, the panel game host is Jimmy Carr, and then two is center. And I can't see Rachel Riley anywhere, who's the other regular, but I think that's what's going on. It's a themed puzzle. Nice to sort of find that at the end. Um, you can solve the puzzle entirely on its own merits, although you probably you wouldn't understand the lexicographer and the panel game host without some knowledge. But other than that, the whole puzzle can be solved. But it's kind of a, a hidden, it's sometimes called a Nina after the artist Al Hirschfeld, who always used to hide his daughter's name Nina in all his art. Or it's sometimes called an Easter egg, which is a, a term that's gone across various uh, media, especially computer games, for something hidden in the puzzle for people to appreciate if they manage to. So that's how this one worked. Um, pretty interesting. Quite enjoyed it. Well worth doing. And uh, good to see 8 out of 10 cats does count down being commemorated in the puzzle. So well done, Bo well done, Boatman. I'm not necessarily a big fan of your cluing style, but I like the grid and the effect. Good work. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you another time. Bye.